So let's jump straight into this video by taking a look at the 100 degree orange masking tape. Now this is kind of a hybrid between fine line and masking tape. It's an ideal masking tape for those two edges like along the roof line and also rubbers. It sticks extremely well to rubbers. Now they also do something called Prime Shield which is a very good product which will give a very very short demo on shortly of where that fits and how you can use that. They've got the Trim Lift masking tape the no blend edge tape and also their advanced foam tape which is like your door shut tape and stuff like that which is primarily really what I'm going to be concentrating on this video. Other little things I've got here in the way of masking is um, I've got some panel wipe and I've got a nice clean microfiber cloth. So we're going to start off by masking this door shut. Now this piece I've got in front of me is just your standard door foam um, which would be applied like so. First, we're going to clean the door shut with some panel wipe or for you guys that are broad wax and grease remover, that sort of thing. Just to make sure that that edge that we're going to stick this to is clean. Now personally, the normal door foam, I am an absolutely hate the stuff. Um, I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, personally, since actually trialing this J-Tape stuff this last few weeks, I have only used this for edging around my masking tape when using primer. Um, it's a product that I've always hated and to be quite honest with you I've always found that no matter how you apply this and it never sort of stays on very long now yes a lot of them have pressure sensitive um, adhesive on them but for me personally I don't find the standard round door foam very good at all as you can see there if you put it on depending on where the edge and that inner lip of your door shut is because you shouldn't have the adhesive side anywhere near where the paint is going to touch um, then it, to be quite honest with you nine times out of ten it doesn't it's not very even and it doesn't give you a really nice soft edge now if you look it's a very rounded profile the advanced foam from J tape has got a very flat profile now it's glued along one edge and then it has an unglued edge on the other side and unlike your standard door foam you actually apply this to the moving part so you'd apply it to your door you would apply it to the actual bonnet rather than the wing when you shut the bonnet down and it really does give a nice clean finish so you can see there it's all poking out but with one little wipe with your finger it puts it in and it puts it in perfectly even all the way along it's the same distance on the door shut top to bottom and because it's not stuck in place it works a little bit like their no blend edge foam um, it the overspray and the air from your spray gun allows it to flex a little bit which gives you a nice real nice feathered edge it can also be used for gaps like at the bottom there and obviously with it having adhesive it will stick in place and then you can just edge tape up around that then and as I say personally since I've started using the J tape advanced foam for door shuts I haven't used anything else at all um, the normal soft foam I just I absolutely detest it I find that you can get sort of sometimes you can mask the car up you can soft foam it um, with your standard foam you can go out you mix your paint up before you've even got back in with your paint I find that at least five times out of ten it is already starting to come away no matter how hard you push it no matter how warm that pressure sensitive adhesive is it just doesn't really seem to work at all for me and this J tape stuff really is that simple you apply it you apply pressure to it like so put it on the door shut now it's all uneven now literally with your fingers just give this a light wipe in that door edge and you've got a perfectly uniform distance in that door shut top to bottom and the good thing is especially for you guys that are using water base you could put this in you could spray your base coat down and then you could push it in a tiny little bit further if you needed to or if you wanted to and then when you hit the clear coat over the top that clear coat is going to go that little bit further and then seal that water based edge so it gives you a little bit more flexibility it's also brilliant for those f really finicky bits like fuel caps because it's flat foam rather than a rounded profile foam it fits in there 
the fuel cap will still catch nicely it doesn't stick out anywhere it just fits perfectly and it will give you that beautiful soft edge all the way around your fuel cap um, I have used it for fuel caps I've used it on bonnets I've used it absolutely everywhere this last few weeks and I have to say for a product I think in the UK this comes in at £30 for a box um, so it is a little bit more than your standard soft edge foam for doors to be quite honest with you I'm quite happy to pay that extra few pound per box to get the extra quality and the ease of use that you get with this and rather than being in loads of separate little coiled up pieces like soft foam comes in this particular foam does actually come in one continuous roll so that you don't end up with those little bits of off cuts that are going to be waste because you know you've done three door shorts and then you pull a piece off and it's only half a door shut thickness even on a tailgate like this you can literally stick it to the moving part run your finger down and you've got that perfectly even mast gap so along this roof line I'm just going to use that 100 degree orange masking tape which like I say it's kind of a hybrid between masking tape and fine line um, but it has an exceptional adhesive on it um, especially for round window rubbers and stuff like that if you've got tricky rubbers or maybe you've got a quarter glass that won't come out this is perfect for that it's always a problem area for us as painters that when you try and mask those areas that normal standard masking tape doesn't stick very well but I can guarantee you if you panel wiped something like this rubber and then you applied that 100 degree tape it would stick really well now my personal preference around areas like this because I do find nine times out of ten if you try and back tape these and stick it down against the glass and try and use a few of the different variations of masking this edge then normally you do end up with a, no matter how hard you try a little bit of a hard line so personally for me this is where I prefer another one of J Tape's products now you can just see me here using the very blunt plastic side of the safety cutter to just push this door rubber just inside and then what I'm actually going to use for this edge is the J Tape Flexi No Blend Edge Tape which is what you'd use ideally for something like bumpers or swage lines on a car now because I can push that quite far in and obviously I have got that swage line now that's showing and that is visible I can now use this tape to go around this edge so to start off with I'm just going to use this little bit of an off cut here that I've got in the box and just show you where I'm going to apply this tape now it does have adhesive offset from the middle so one side is slightly larger than the other so you want the largest side to where your paint is going to touch so when your air touches it from your spray gun it just lifts that tape that little bit and gives you that really nice feathered edge um, and I say a feathered edge it's so light of a feathered edge that literally if you get some polish on a cloth you can get rid of that edge even if you put it straight across a swage line on a car and you paint right up against it it will give a really really fine feathered edge um, which you just can't get with soft foam or any other kind of masking really um, you can false mask yourself personally I think for the time and effort it takes and with this new flexi no blend edge tape this is absolutely ideal for an area like this so you can just apply it make sure I'm pushing it right inside where I push that rubber so that none of that adhesive is near where the paint's going to touch and that larger loose foam side now is facing out so when my air hits that as you can see it's just going to lift that tape and give me that really nice feathered edge to the clear coat around that swage line on the car and I've got a little off cut here so I might as well stick that on the end of the clear blend there again that will stop us getting a hard edge if we get anywhere near that and this J Tape range of products their advanced foams are absolutely brilliant I have to say now this particular product the no blend edge tape it comes in two it comes in a standard and it comes in a flexi now the standard is something that you use literally a long sways line like that again you want the larger unadhered foam side to this side of your sways line and you could literally paint off that sways line if you wanted to so if you maybe for smart repairs and stuff like that then that's an ideal section to use that and as that stands now that is now masked all we need to do now is go around and back tape all this chuck a piece of poly roll over it and away we go 
Now, I didn't at this point have any of the J-Tape masking tape in, but I can say that I have used the J-Tape masking tape since, and it is, again, exceptional. It's just as good as the rest of their products. Um, and it sticks really well to itself as well, which is a real big bugbear of mine when it comes to masking tape. Now, this is the Prime Shield. You can literally, it's got no adhesive on it. You literally poke it in a door jam, and it seals that door jam up. Now, if you were to prime, say, a repair that crossed over this door jam, as the air hits this tape, it will flex side to side, so you can paint right up to the edge of your gaps. The same if you wanted to do a door gap, or if you, you could use it for back masking, a window pillar, or anything. Um, and I'll try, if I can, to get a bit more of a video of that at another point um, in the future, so you can actually see the Prime Shield tape in action. So, as you can see, that's really nice, really nice and clean around there. Everything's masked up nicely and looking good. So that's it for me for today's video, guys. And I'll see you again soon for the next one.